Hi, this is Garth, and I'm back with the last part of our remote classroom transition using uh, Google Sites. And in this one, we're going to talk about publishing and um, sharing that information with your students. So there's a couple of things I'd like to do. We've built three pages. Um, you know, we did our resource page with YouTube and buttons and a calendar, and we did our assessment page with a form and a um, slideshow. So the first thing I'm going to do is do the preview. The preview is up here to the left, or excuse me, on the right-hand side, and it says preview. And that shows you what it looks like on a computer screen as default. So you're seeing a computer screen and what it looks like. And this is what the kids would see it. You can see what it looks like on a tablet. So this is the kids using an iPad at home. So you can kind of see the pages. They still can visually see everything, and, and everything works. Right, um, And you can also test it for a phone. What does it look like if they're on a phone? Um, nice about the phone is it blows up your slideshow and you can go through it this way. You know, and if you could turn your phone sideways, you could see it, but that works. Um, and so again, it switches the pages to here. So to go from page to page, you got to use that, but everything's there. The calendar's there. So um, actually looks better probably on a phone than it does on the web. But we're good. It looks okay. So we'll exit preview. We're about ready to publish. I will share these other icons up here with you. This is to share with a, like a co-teacher. Like you wanted another person um, in your school building to work with you. You can put their name in here and it'll send them an email and you guys can edit together. Um, not much there we need, but if you, you know, most of you will probably be working alone. Next to it is our settings. This lets you do top navigation versus side. I'm going to tell you to recommend top because this needs the three lines and you have to know that this stuff's there. So for kids, um, you just want the text to be up top. So again, I'm going to click back on that and do top. You really don't need to worry about any of these icons or other things there. In this one, it lets you see the histories, you know, not too important. So let's just publish. We've built our page. When it first comes up, this is key. This is your actual address. So it's going to create a site down here where you can read the site. But then at the end, it's going to put this remote classroom, whatever's up here. So I can say um, remote Google site. That's what we were talking about. So I'm going to call it uh, forbidden. These are reserved words. So I can't use that. So remote Google. Um, see, Google can't be used. Google can't be used. So it'll be remote um, Mr. H site. Now it may not let site. It did let it go. So this is key though. This manage. Click manage. Right now, if I publish, only specific people can view it. We don't want that because nobody would be able to see it. So we need to click here. A lot of yours are going to be set to this one. It says anyone at, you know, Dublin City Schools, um, you know, Chagrin Falls Schools, whatever it is. You don't want that. You want it anyone with a link. If a kid's not logged in, they can't view it. If they're using their mom's device, they don't, their email's not in, they can't use your site. So you want anyone with a link and you click save. Now anyone is going to be able to find this. You say done and you can click publish. It's up to you about this request public search engines not display it. You can do that because you're going to send the link to kids so it doesn't matter. Um, or you can leave it, doesn't matter to me. And you publish. It's going to say now your site has been successfully published view. So if we click the view, this is really important for you to then go. We are now on the web looking at our site. You got to test everything. That opens up Google Photos. This should open up a reading to NPR. And it does. Okay, that's it for this page. Let's check our next page. Does our video play? That was the first thing we put on top. I clicked the video. While the state has yes, it plays. Schools, some local districts. Oops. Uh, my calendar is there. If I want to see a detail, I can go even to more details. It'll pull up my calendar and publicly let them see that. Yep, it's there. Okay. Um, my link, let's test it. My link failed. And I know why I spelled it wrong. Students for tomorrow. So we'll have to fix that. 
that's actually good because now you can see how to fix and republish. Let's go to assessments, check it out. It looks like the form's there. Uh, let's just see if we can fill it out. So Garth, um, I'm just gonna put Ohio email. It'll come up with Garth, right? Topic, um, forms. I wanna learn more about forms. How can I self or auto grade? So that's my question. I submit. Okay, that went. So now I've got my question submitted. My slideshow works, right? I can go full screen, and the kid could certainly use this to learn from, right? You're thinking of yours. So it looks like that works, and we're on all our pages. So everything works except I have a link. Now, two things you might want to do before you click off. Go back to your home page, and you need to bookmark this site. So by clicking bookmark, um, I'm going to call it remote tools and click in Google tools and say done. I got my website saved, right? The other thing you can do is you can copy this. Now I can put this in an email and send it to students. I could put it in, you know, maybe progress book or some kind of grade book you do. Here's where my class will be located with a link. You could put it in a school newsletter that goes out to parents. Um, if you're using class dojo, you could get this link and put it in class dojo. Um, you know, you can always do a URL shortener if that's too much to type in, which will take you to the right place. But you do need a copy of that link. So if we go back to edit, I know on the resource page I made a mistake. We tested everything, it all worked except for this. So I need to edit it. And I know that I spelled the word wrong. Students, now I'm good. Whoops, I didn't click save, so it didn't save it. Students, and click update. Now I'm gonna republish. And what it does, it shows you the page that you made a change on. There's really gonna be nothing to see because we changed the link. It doesn't look like we changed anything, but we did change the link and you click publish. Now the thing is it automatically goes there. I can view, but I already left this opened. So I'm gonna to go to this page and you're gonna be like, well, it didn't work. You know, I click this and it doesn't work, right? Oh, it doesn't work. Well, what did I do wrong? You never reloaded the page. So by simply reloading your website, and my web just kicked me off, it's not good. Let's hope it continues to record and it comes back on in a second. There seems to be a lot of demand on the web these days. Let's see, I think we came back online. So I apologize for that. Looks like the page reloaded. Um, Looked like it dropped everything, so we'll reload again and see if it's there. And the Wi-Fi kicked off again. Of course, we're at eight minutes. But I will tell you this, it works. I know it works. <laughs> it's out on the web. So that's kind of your tutorial on getting yours published. I apologize that my web is starting to uh, act up here at home.